on today's menu, a crunchy and salty recipe that's a really big deal. Delicious artisanal pickles. Lay Homa, I'm Will Young from YoungManCooking.com. Welcome to the channel where you can cook with confidence. I used to always have a jar of pickles on hand because they're just so delicious and make a great snack, but making them at home is actually much easier than you might think. In this episode, I'm using four pickling cucumbers in a one liter heatproof jar. These are local pickling cucumbers or cukes. Do you have to wash them really good because they do come a bit sandy. This is kind of the artisanal portion where you can literally flavor these guys whatever you like. You can make them saltier or spicier or tangier or more dill, completely up to you. Place some fresh dill into the bottom of the jar. Two pieces, garlic. Now do make sure that you're using a heat-proof glass because we'll be pouring hot water into this. A few thin slices of ginger. Small saucepan. One teaspoon chili flakes. One bay leaf. Quarter teaspoon cloves. These are beautiful cinnamon sticks. They smell amazing. One cinnamon stick, one teaspoon coriander seeds, one teaspoon mustard seeds. These are cardamom pods, extremely aromatic. We're just going to crush them so that we can have access to toasting those seeds inside. Three cardamom pods. So if you've been following the channel for some time, you know I absolutely love spicy food and this is a bit of a specialty item. You don't have to use this, you don't have this on hand. You can just use regular black peppercorns, but this is kind of a special peppercorn blend that I got as a gift that I purchased myself. This particular blend is a mix of black peppercorn, white pepper, Jamaica peppercorn, pink and green peppercorns. The Jamaican peppercorns are these larger ones here. Definitely not something you find regularly. It's really quite delicious. It's not super spicy. I would say the black peppercorn is actually the spiciest. It has a little bit of a earthy kind of citrusy taste to it. Really quite delicious. Two teaspoons, peppercorns. Medium heat. Toast the spices for three to four minutes. Turn the heat off and set aside. Place the pickles into the jar. Transfer the spices into the jar. That smells really aromatic. One and a half teaspoons of salt in the saucepan. Two cups filtered water. Bring the water to a boil while stirring to dissolve the salt. Right, so while we wait for the water to boil, I receive a crazy amount of inquiries about the containers I use for storing spices and dry goods. Now, these particular containers are actually from a supermarket here in Ontario, Canada called Real Canadian Superstore. It's actually a bit of a supermarket slash department store. 
and they have an in-house brand called President's Choice or PC, where these ones are, they fall under. Now, unfortunately, I've reached out to them and sadly, these containers are actually discontinued and no longer in existence. So unfortunately for me as well, I'm unable to buy more to add to this collection. So maybe one day we'll have a young man cooking line of stuff. But until then, if you do have containers that you store your dry goods, here's a bit of a tip on how to refill them. Pour out the remaining ingredient into a clean bowl. Refill the container with a new product. Leave a little bit of space to top off with the old product. This will ensure that the old product will be used first. Pour the hot water into the jar. Top off with some more fresh dill. Top off with a little bit more water and close the jar. Be sure not to close the lid too tightly, for air does need to escape. Let it sit out in room temperature for 3-7 to seven days. It's important to note that this is not designed to be shelf stable because we didn't exactly can these. So after about 5-7 to seven days, I do find the flavor to be pungent enough for me, so I would transfer this to the fridge and that will slow down that kind of fermentation. And from there, I would say maximum another week or two, definitely try to finish these guys, but hopefully you won't need that long to finish these amazing pickles. This jar here I've kept in room temperature for about five days and then transferred it to the fridge. It does look a lot cloudier and man, it smells pretty pungent. You can now make these delicious pickles with absolute confidence. It's really quite incredible to see that transformation and this is really delicious. Man, that is one crunchy pickle. It's really quite a fun process when you can choose exactly what you'd like to put in that jar. All the different spices, the herbs, the spicy crushed red pepper flakes and the peppercorns and the garlic and I mean, you can literally even eat that garlic and it's really delicious. Quite pungent, but very delicious nonetheless. The pickle itself is really just nice and salty and crunchy and tangy. A little bit of that spiciness. And again, if you leave it out for around the five to seven day mark, especially the seven day mark, it's quite pungent. Then you transfer it to the fridge and you can enjoy for up to another week or two weeks. There's really nothing worse than getting a jar of pickles from the store and biting into it, but it's just really mushy. And this is something that you can make really easily at home in a fairly short amount of time. These are great as a delicious snack just as is, but I mean, man, these will be awesome in your next delicious burger. Man, I love delicious and easy recipes. And of course, if you love delicious and easy recipes like I do, then definitely check out the Vegan Ramen Cookbook or the Cook with Confidence Cookbook. These will have your favorite recipes from the cooking show here on YouTube. And of course, to take a sneak peek inside the book or to order your signed copy, I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check that out. Of course, as always, remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you won't miss a single episode.